يقول الله عز وجل في كتابه الكريم بعد أن أقول أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واللهم بلغنا رمضان واللهم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا إله إلا الله اللهم اجعلنا من الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر آمين يا رب العالمين In today's khutbah I'd like to share with you a little history of this incredible month that we are all hopeful of witnessing I want to start by praying to Allah Azza wa Jal that Allah allows all of us to benefit as much as we possibly can from this coming month and that He makes it a means for our continued guidance, our forgiveness It is a, a means by which our hearts are softened not just towards Allah but also towards one another. What I wanted to share with you is actually something from the surah, that the only surah that actually talks about Ramadan, Surah Al-Baqarah. And where this ayah is mentioned, or the ayat about Ramadan are mentioned, are actually a progression that was mentioned something much, much, much before then. This discussion actually begins with Adam alayhi salam himself. Adam alayhi salam, this incredible creature that Allah made, that he even commanded the angels because of his creation to make sajda. This incredible creation was given Jannah, the place that we eventually want to go back home. And which is, this is important to know because about Jannah, Allah describes believers as warithun. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْوَارِثُونَ الَّذِينَ يَرِثُونَ الْفِرْدَوْسَ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ That people that will go back to heaven are actually gaining heaven or Jannah as inheritance. Inheritance means your ancestors owned it. That's what that means. And that was, a, that was the home given to our father, Adam alayhi salam. And that's where humanity began, and which is why when we go back to Jannah, we're actually warithun. We're actually inheriting what was already meant, to, meant for us. You know, there are some treasures, some, some monies in life that you have to earn by the work of your hand. And there are some that are yours because the family passed it down to you. You know, there's a property that was passed down, money that was passed down, a car that was passed down, and it's yours. Or jewelry that was passed down. Jannah is a, is a bit of both. It is meant for us because it's for, it was given to our father, and we cannot get it without work. It's kind of both things at the same time. But in any case, Allah Azza wa Jal gave this amazing gift to Adam alayhi salam and used to speak to Adam alayhi salam directly. He gave him advice directly, he gave, told him to eat freely, you know, and you know, could, uh, he told our mother and our father, both of them, that they can have whatever they want in this Jannah, you all know the story except for this one tree. You know, and when he gave all of this advice, one thing that I want to, your attention on is that Allah Azza wa Jal addressed Adam alayhi salam directly. Uskun anta wa zawjuk al Jannah. He talked to them directly. And you can imagine Jannah, what Allah Himself describes, is عِنْدَ سِدْرَةِ الْمُنْتَهَى It's عِنْدَهَا الْجَنَّةُ الْمَأْوَى Jannah is very high up. Like the earth is, this worldly life is called dunya. Dunya in Arabic comes from the word adna. It's the feminine form of low. And it actually means the lowest possible life you can have. You can only get higher from here. And the higher is actually Jannah. It's the highest. It's right under the arsh of Allah in one ayah and described in Surah Al-Najm. It's right in that proximity. So what I'm trying to get at is known, not only is Adam alayhi salam speaking with Allah and Allah is speaking with him, He's very close to Allah. The, one of the great marvels of Jannah isn't just the trees and the food, and the, but, but actually the closeness to Allah Himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a remarkable gift of Jannah. And yet, Adam alayhi salam made a fatal mistake. The waswasa of shaitan was successful. His whisper was successful. And the mistake took place. And a lot of people misunderstand and think that as a result, Adam alayhi salam was punished. And the punishment was that he will be sent all the way down to this planet, Earth. That's how life here began for human beings. Adam alayhi salam was sent here as a punishment. When you study the surah and the Quran carefully, you discover that actually Adam alayhi salam was not sent here as a punishment. That's actually a common Christian view. That you know, this life is a curse and man was, is paying for the original sin and all of that. We're not, we actually believe, كُلُّ مَوْلُودٍ يُولَدُ عَلَى الْفِطْرَةِ Every human being is born on a predisposed goodness. And as a matter of fact, even describing this earth within the context of the story of Adam, Allah Azza wa says about this life on this earth, He says, وَجَعَلْنَا لَكُمْ فِيهَا مَعَايِشْ قَلِيلًا مَا تَشْكُرُونَ He put a lot of things here for you to make sure you can live really well. 
you're so, so little that you're grateful. Like, Allah didn't describe this earth as a punishment, He described this earth as something marvelous and beautiful. As a matter of fact, the more you study Qur'an, the more you appreciate the creation around you. He'll describe the beauty of, with which He you know, made a camel, or the mountain, or the sky, or the tree, or the food that you eat, or even the wrappings of the food. In other words, Allah did not make this world ugly, He made this world beautiful. And He made this world a means of sustenance for us, so that we could become grateful. As in many places in the Qur'an, you'll learn that a lot of the gifts of this world, one of their purposes is to remind you, if this is so beautiful, I imagine what the original home was like. Like it's supposed to remind you of the original meaning Jannah, it's a preview. Even though Jannah is beyond our imagination, but there are some things in common, isn't it? Allah will talk about trees in Jannah. How would you and I know what a tree is if we, Allah didn't give us trees in this earth? He'll talk about rivers, He'll talk about milk, He'll talk about honey, He'll talk about you know, the flesh of birds. You know, He'll talk about these things. You would never appreciate those things if you didn't have some taste of it here. So it's because He made this Jannah in a sense, this world, He made it in a sense a preview of what is coming next. But regardless, let me get back to my point. The point is Adam salam used to be very close to Allah. And now, as a result of that slip-up, Allah is sending him down to the earth. Again, you and I know it's not a punishment. But it feels like it. Because you just left Jannah, and you've been brought down here. And Jannah is Jannatul Khuld. You don't get old, you don't get sick, you have nothing to fear, you have no sadness. When you come down here, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي كَبَدْ Human beings are gonna be you know, drowning in toil, in labor. They're going to be hungry, they're going to be sick, they're going to get weak, they're going to have to work, they can't just be fed without any problem. They, you know, this world is just full of problems. That's what it comes with. As beautiful as it is, it's not easy. Every one of us has struggles in life. And so Allah Azza wa 